Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, I thought I'll do the knife community a favor and tell you how you can solve your Swiss Army knife problem. And at the same time, I'll share with you my state of the collection because some people like that. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, you can check out my shop links, even for Victorinox Swiss Army knives, in the pinned comment or description below. Thanks a lot. I don't have many Swiss Army knives. I've got over about 30, and these are most of the knives here. I thought I'd just share with you the state of the collection, highlight some of my favorites, and maybe explain why I have these. Now, I don't think my collection is huge. I do know I've more than a handful, but I know that many of you have a much bigger problem than me, and you have many more Swiss Army knives, especially if you have been collecting them for decades. So before I go through my collection, maybe I thought I'll run through my 12-step program for helping you solve your Swiss Army knife problem if you find yourself just buying new knives all the time, whether they're new models or old models. So the first step is to acknowledge the problem. Admit to yourself that you have a problem and you're buying too many Swiss Army knives. Step number two, since you have too many knives, I will help you out. You can mail me your knives. So look for my contact information in my description and you can drop me an email and I will help take the knives off your hands. Yes, I will take upon that burden, so don't worry about it. Now step three, well actually after you do step two, the rest of the steps aren't so important, so just do those first two steps and you'll be fine. Okay, so let me show you the collection I have now and maybe in a few weeks I will show you my new collection which will probably multiply by 10 times. My current collection has a variety of styles and sizes of Victorinox Swiss Army knives. Yes, I mainly have Victorinox. I believe I had a Wenger back maybe two or three decades ago but I don't have it anymore. So I've got these small 58mm knives, 91 84 and of course 111 millimeters. I do not have the Ranger grips. These are basically the various sizes I have. And I've got the ALOC scales and some wood scales and some custom scales as well. And I've got the Celador scales, translucent scales, and the Ecoline nylon scales. I won't go through every single knife. I've done videos on quite a few of these and you can check out the playlist on my Swiss Army knives on my channel. But I'll just pick out, I guess, some of my favorites. For the 111mm Swiss Army knives, I use them mainly for the outdoors, although this one is used in my apartment bug out bag. I used to carry the Swiss Soldier. It is one-handed opener, but it's got a serrated blade and it's got a saw and the Phillips head screwdriver. And then I switched over to the Forester, which I think I prefer due to the straight blade and the fact that it's got the corkscrew I can put in the ferro rod and the tinder. And all these has the saws, which uh, is really good and important for outdoor use as well. And I've also put together a little survival kit that I've shared in a previous video. If we move on to the left, we've got the Bantam over here. Uh, this one is just a bit customized with a red lanyard and red scale tools. Bantam's a really nice one and these are actually issued uh, to recruits at one time when they start their basic military training. Now they issue the Trailmaster or Trekker as it's known in the US. But really slim uh, version and this is the Ecoline nylon scales which is really great for the outdoors because uh, they don't scratch up as easily as the Celador scales. This is the discontinued Lumberjack which is basically uh, a main blade and a combo tool as well as a saw. Let's get that saw out. It's a smaller saw but still really good. Uh, the, this is the eco line, right? The, the nylon scales, uh, that's why it's the uh, lumberjack. If not, it's called the walker, but the walker has also been discontinued. So that's a popular knife, which a lot of people are surprised to see discontinued. We've got the MacGyver knife, the Tinker. This is the Compact. Talked a lot about this in past videos. You can check out the setup in a very popular video as well. And my very first Swiss Army knife that I ever bought is the Climber. I have changed the scales since because they're just too scratched up. This has the main blade, the pen blade, the two screwdrivers and cap lifter and can opener combination and it's got the scissors. And to me this at the time, and I think I guessed correctly, uh, was 
the most useful tool set to me and I also didn't mind the size. I do not like thick Swiss Army knives, that's why you realize I don't have any large thick Swiss Army knives. In fact, the thickest is this, that's the Cyber 2 Small and the reason is that thick is because it's got this driver but I consider this a really good desk tool and that's where I keep this. I don't have many of the keychain size Swiss Army knives. I generally don't carry them, although they do play a role in my EDC loadout, especially when I want a pocket-friendly tool, then I think a lot of people would agree that the Rambler or the Manager is a great size for this 58 millimeter format. Of course, you've got the main blade, you have a pair of scissors, a nail file, but you've got this lovely driver over here, which also has a cap lifter and uh, wire stripper so this is really handy and of course it's got the scale tools as well for the tweezers and uh, the toothpick a lot of people like the swiss champ especially the a lock swiss champ i didn't get that mainly because this was just on offer so it's a better price and this is the version with a light but there are no scale tools one very underrated small swiss army knife i feel is this one this is the 580 nail clip and it's actually previously a wenger designed and i think it's really good for people who aren't really looking for a knife knife but some, want something really practical it does have a knife it does have a pair of scissors and of course that nail clip and scale tools and this 65 millimeters a uh, bit larger than these over here then we come to kind of these custom ones uh, there are some standard ones in terms of the alox or the like the limited edition cadet this is the winter magic one which i really think is a really pretty knife not something i edc but i do keep at home in my display case and i actually use it uh, to open bottles and such this is my edc at the moment in terms of what i carry as well as the compact and this is the pine x 2022 version thunder gray and i do like the 93 millimeter formats for the alox because they've got thicker blades they have uh, stronger back springs and just a more sturdy knife overall We've got the Cadet over here, Spartan, also very popular in terms of the model. Uh, it's like the climber, but no scissors. And those who like scissors then will not like this model. Uh, this has wood scales, which I thought was just uh, really pretty, and it will fit the occasion depending what I'm pairing it with. And we've got some custom scales over here. These are from third party manufacturers. Uh, these are made from titanium. This is from AliExpress. But then I put in this green elements to give it that zombie green feel which i like and this is part of my titanium edc loadout these are the sakana scales which are actually custom made in malaysia penang and they're actually magnetic let's see if we can pick anything up i guess this is the lightest you can kind of see that sticking yep that's because they're magnets embedded uh, to not only hold the scales better but they fit perfectly you do not need any glue or epoxy and they are all japanese inspired themed uh, which is why i got a matching samurai lanyard bead over here so this is a tinker so i've got actually got two tinkers and the one that i'm carrying now mostly when i go out to the jungle as part of my three knife system is the camper so it is like these tools in terms of the tool set, but it's in the 91 millimeter format. And I've got my Tinder and my ferro rod here with some fire cord over here. It's got the saw, it's got the blade, and I have my modified tweezers, as you can see. So this is something that was modified. I took a Dremel tool and basically shaped it uh, so that this would be better to pick out stings out in the jungle if ever needed. Well, there you have it. That's my state of the collection. Do you have any favorites? Do you have any identical models? Do let me know which is your favorite Swiss Army knife in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, I'll solve your problem. Send me your knives. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.